Welcome to the Auto Catalyst Market Channel. Today, we're going to talk about how a catalytic converter helps reduce exhaust gas pollution. In today's world, technology is changing very rapidly, but there are problems that humanity cannot solve definitely. We're talking about the level of air pollution from our vehicles. The combustion process produces carbon oxides, nitrogen oxides, and volatile organic compounds. Their mixture sounds more familiar to us like smog and haze. This, in turn, harms the environment and worsens the quality of life of people, especially those living in megacities. In the mid-1950s, Eugene Goodry, an American industrial chemist, received a patent for his development, a catalytic converter for gasoline engines. Its widespread use began around 1975. And how exactly does that work these days? Let's find out. In chemistry, a catalytic converter is a substance that accelerates a chemical reaction but is not consumed in the process. Can be used as an example, the enzymes in the human body that help us digest food. The function of the vehicle catalytic converter is to convert harmful pollutants into less harmful emissions before they leave the vehicle's exhaust system. It's a primarily poisonous gas, carbon monoxide, as well as volatile organic compounds and nitrogen oxide, which cause smog. So what does the catalytic converter do with these harmful gases? The catalytic converter itself consists of many thin honeycombs of metal or ceramic. They form a large area coated with a sputtering of precious metals, platinum, palladium and rhodium, which are the catalyst for the reaction. The idea is to use the maximum area of the catalytic converter when exhaust gases enter it. Precious metals then react with the exhaust gases and break them down into carbon dioxide CO2, oxygen O2, nitrogen N and water H2O. The catalytic converter is a part of the exhaust system that is located between the engine and the silencer. Hot, contaminated gases from the engine enter the catalytic converter through the exhaust manifold. After undergoing chemical reactions, the gases leave the catalytic converter and are purified into the atmosphere. In addition, you can see the thermal protection on the catalytic converter, a shield that protects the other parts from overheating as the catalytic converter heats up to high temperatures during operation. Environmentalists have long noted that with large numbers of vehicles, even small amounts of nitrogen oxide become a serious problem. Catalytic converters are not 100% effective in reducing emissions, but they are an important step towards reducing pollution from vehicles. To be more effective, they need to be combined with traffic reduction schemes in city centers, the development of public transport, or alternative fuels for personal mobility. Support the video with a like and comment if you like it. Subscribe to the channel to know more about catalytic converters. Bye!